if I remember right, this was one that he wrote about a personal friend. I think you're right. Hardwired to self-destruct. Hosted by this guy. Corey Taylor. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting and thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood Six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoked up. What up? <laughs> got some more random trivia for you today, bro. Oh, what you got? Okay, I got some interesting ones for you today. All right. You if don't overthink this one, and okay. I think you'll get it. Okay. What was the name of the first at-home film camera? Just don't don't overthink. Camcorder. Uh. Oh. Uh. First at-home camcorder. Was uh, it camera. Canon? Camera. It was. Are you? Are you a, like manufacturer name or? Well, I'll tell you, there's a rapper that has the first name of the... Uh, Nick Cannon? Kodak number one. Oh, Kodak. <laughs> Kodak Black. Yes. Uh, Cannon's a camera also. Yes, it is. All right, how about this one? You, mm. I, I swear to God, if you get this, there's no way you're going to get this. It's, what does a tegastologist collect? A tegastologist? <laughs> uh, Metals? Ooh, why'd you go with metals? Just curious. Um, I don't know. It's the first thing that popped in my head. I'm sure I'm making a correlation from something, but it's actually beer coasters. Oh, really? You're a tegastologist if you collect beer coasters. Yeah, yeah, never heard of that. All right, what is Baby Superman called on the planet Krypton? You're not gonna get that one, so I'm gonna give you another one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, all right, Texas City is located at the mouth of what bay? Hmm. It is a city in Texas. It starts with a city. That mm. starts with a G. I'll give you that hint. Oh, Galveston? Galveston Bay. Yeah. You're right. Okay. You know this is lit not Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, I think you're going to get this right when I say it. It rhymes with puff. Oh, snuff? You got it, my <laughs> friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And today, being slipped. Oh, no. Wrong one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's time to step <laughs> into the <laughs> snare and mingle with the maggots because it's, it's slip not Saturday. Saturday. It's slip not Saturday, but with a twist. Yeah. Because we've done this. Oh, really? We've well, yeah, we've done stuff. But this is listed as Corey Taylor. Just Corey. So maybe this is a live set or something? I have no idea. But I do remember, what I do remember is that... When we did snuff by Slipknot, I do remember some of the maggots and the trash talkers saying that it, because this is one of my favorite Slipknot songs, you know, mm. through our Slipknot journey. It was a slow one, yeah. Yeah, and us, I, I want to say we did this pre Slipknot Saturday. I think so. It was a long time ago, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably the slowest song we've ever heard by Slipknot. Which y'all know that's my it's style. It's acoustic too. But that's right, where I was remember, right? That's what I'm thinking. That that's where I was going is we saw or I seen some of the comments saying that Corey did this by himself and uh -huh. then Joey secretly went in and laid a drum tr drum uh -huh. track to it and then it I became I think I do remember that comment now. Yeah. Thing yeah. is is what what was you about to say? Oh, no, no. If I remember right, this was one that he wrote about a personal friend. I think you're right like like his really good friend or whatever that betrayed him in the end or whatever it was i think you're right you know before we hop into it mm. what is the term what is a snuff film a snuff film it's supposed to portray an actual act of violence or cruelty or murder you know things like that it's it's technically an illegal film you know what? i don't know i don't know if they still if you recreate it like it's supposed to look like right, right. an actual you know uh, illegal process or whatever however you want to say it i don't know if that still counts as a snuff film or it has to actually be right. the illegal act so would you say the blair witch project would be an example of a snuff film because it that, looks real 
See, I don't know. That's why I'm saying I don't know. But see, that was uh, found footage. That was supposed to be found footage. You know, that was a whole genre but unto itself. Found meaning it was found to be real. Maybe. I, mean, I guess you could find snuff footage too. Hmm. I don't know. Trash yeah. talkers, give us the exact definition of snuff. Yeah, and yeah. why this song was named snuff. You know, I, yeah. I think we've asked that, but I think we probably did in the original. Yeah. Smoked up. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm gonna play you. A very heavy song for me. No, you ain't. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just hard to get through, so oh, wow. I'm obviously going to need all the help I can get on this. Are you ready? Got you, buddy. We got you.
he closed out the show with that? that Probably would, not, though, right? I don't know. That would be a good closer. Yeah, I would. If I'm, it was me, I'd be like, yeah, that's going to be the final song. Like, the, I always like to end on the most emotional yeah. song, you know? You got that. That's a good point that you bring up. If this was just a Corey Taylor show, was he... Stone Sour wasn't there. Slipknot wasn't there. It was just him. Yeah. So I wonder if he was just doing acoustics of... Oh, if it was an all-acoustic show? Yeah. Yeah? Damn. Possibly. Trash Talkers... Is this... I wonder if this is from the, the CMFT. Maybe. Uh, Corey Mullet that, yeah. Taylor. Yeah. I don't know, but to the Trash Talkers and the Maggots, if there's a video of, like, you know, this whole thing, you know, we, yeah. I'm just curious, like, was this a whole set? Yeah, you know, or maybe he, maybe someone else was headlining. It was like, hey, I'm gonna bring out a special guest, and Corey Taylor comes out, and he's like, you know, I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. Yeah, actually, it did say hated above, so I wonder if this was like hated tour or something. Man, it's gonna have to let us know, man. Yeah, definitely. You know what it reminded me of? Hmm. Uh, a contemporary Christian concert. Have you ever been to one of those? Like, you'll go to this big mega church. And there's always, like, at some point, there will be a dude standing up there with an acoustic guitar. And only the acoustic. And everybody knows the words to the songs. I remember I went to one, and I'm like, how do y'all know this? No, thing? I've never been. And when did you go to one? When? <laughs> oh, this was years ago. I knew you was low-key going to there church. There was one Sunday. at... Uh, That's why you'd be late on, on Sundays to record. You'd be at church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was one at uh, Newton High School one time. It was like a punk band. But when I went there wow. with, uh, with Nate, and I was like, this is like a Christian band. I do. That does sound familiar. Yeah. But they'll, they'll end up at some point doing an acoustic track, and everybody knows the words, and they're all singing with them, you Damn. know. It was, it was that same, I mean, yeah. See, that, 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 I've only experienced that, like, the last concert I went to before Tool and Gojira was Prince when he was alive. And when mm -hmm. he with my mom, and when he did Purple Rain, everybody. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, dude, you could just, like, I could just imagine being in this venue right now, and you know every word to this song, and you and you hear that. Usually, you know a song when if you're if it's live, the first note, you're like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I know what this is. That's how oh, it was for yeah. me at Tool. Like the first note I hear, it's like, oh yeah, this is gonna be this song. But usually, it takes people a second to catch on because if you notice that, they'll play a riff. And then, and then everybody's like, Woo! It, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Um, I do have one question though. Do we call this Slipknot Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a Slipknot song that Corey Taylor's doing. You're so. right. Absolutely. And again, I think you were correct about someone, a friend, or someone he loves betraying him. That's what yeah, I think. Yeah, I think about. so. Yeah. Maggots, trash talkers, you guys can give us your interpretation. Again, let us know if this was just an acoustic set by Corey Taylor. We'd be interested to know mm -hmm. that. Also, let us next let us know what's next by Slipknot or Corey Taylor down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name's Beringer Hollywood. Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. We want to thank you guys for tuning in to Slipknot Saturday and allowing us to mingle with the maggots. If you want to check out last week's Slipknot Saturday, it's going to be right over here. If you want to check out another artist that we've covered, it's going to be right over here. Thank you guys so much. We are really enjoying this Slipknot Saturday. We will see you next week. Deuces.